Hey guys, Brick Queen here, and what better news to wake up to this morning than the official pictures of the summer 2020 Harry Potter sets being revealed. So there are six sets and a poly bag that we know of right now. Um, and I, for one, am super excited. Okay, let's go ahead and just go down to the sets themselves. So we have a new, well, not really new, I guess really this is the first real room of requirement that we've gotten. Um, I mean, other than like a little bitty one, but anyway, um, so I think this is awesome because of everything that you get in this. Um, you get uh, two different new Patronuses, which is incredibly awesome and they look really really good um you have the rabbit one and also i think hers is an otter i think luna's is an otter uh if i remember right um so the room itself looks great i really like the design of it but getting those two patronuses fantastic okay so the next one is like completely new forbidden forest umbridge's encounter and you know you can sit here and, and read this and, and that's fine or you can just check out the picture so we have grop there and um now this is not the first time we've seen umbridge <laughs> definitely but this is the first time we've seen like basically this uh <laughs> this scene portrayed because we also have two centaurs in this which i think look really good and then the you know big brick built grop which I think they did a pretty good job on. Um, I'm really interested in his hair. I'm not sure if that's like one big piece or I mean it looks like they kind of built it together like that. I don't know. I can't wait for these to come out though and uh, speaking of which let me go back up here. Uh, I think there was dates yeah, so available in June in Europe and August in the U.S. Um, so if it says August, I'm guessing July, uh, we'll probably get these. So I think that's going to be awesome. There's also a new Privet Drive, which is something I, for one, have been wanting for a long time because I don't have the old one. I really, really want to get the old one. Even if I get this new one, I still want to get the old one too. Um, just because, I mean, they're just really great sets. And you guys know how I am about uh, Lego Harry Potter stuff. I really want to have all of them. So maybe one day I can complete my collection and get all the old ones that I've missed. There's not too many, but I would like to, to fill those in. Um, but that's a really great set. I love uh, the detail in it and, you know, really the, the minifigures look great. Next, we have the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower, um, which has Slughorn's Classroom, um, but also, you know, this is, this is a very important place in the movies for sure. Um, and it looks like they did a great job. I would like to see a bigger version of the picture on the side there where you can see the other side of it, you know, more like the inside. Um, it looks like we have a little part of the greenhouse over here, which I think is also very, very cool. Um, now this next set, it's just called Hedwig for obvious reasons here. Um, and actually, let me scroll back up here. I just noticed available exclusively from Barnes and Noble in the US and many other retailers globally. So there you go. This is gonna be an exclusive Barnes and Noble set if you're in the US, um, but it, it, it's a pretty good looking set. And uh, 630 pieces to build this Hedwig. And you notice there's kind of like a crank under the wings there so that you can actually make the wings move, make it look like it's flying. I think that's awesome. There's also a new burrow. And this one apparently is going to be available exclusively from Target. So if you want to get all the new Harry Potter sets, you're definitely going to have to be going to several different stores. Um, 
This one does include Nymphadora Tonks, which I, for one, am excited about um, her being included, although I'm not too excited about the exact version of her, um, if that makes any sense. I was hoping for, you know, like some colorful hair for her, but it doesn't look like we're going to get that. But, I mean, the whole set does look pretty cool. We're getting a new version of Bellatrix Lestrange, which is always great. And something that you've probably noticed in these sets, and maybe in the pictures of the, the minifigure series, um, click over here, and this is the poly bag. This, well, <laughs> zoom in too much there. Um, <laughs> I am really excited for this new version of Hedwig that has the wings open. I think that's really, really cool. Um, and I like that, you know, we're even going to get it in this poly bag, but I think that's also in the minifigure series. Um, and so some of these you can see a little bit better uh, the other side of them. You know, here's the Patronuses there, which is like they look awesome. And just the detailing on the minifigures. Really, really great. I, I'm i just really excited for these sets. Um, I think they look awesome. And for somebody like me who is just a, a big Harry Potter fan anyway, um, you could say that these look terrible and I would still be like, I need them. <laughs> I need to have these in my collection. Um, I don't know, I just... I have very few complaints or questions or anything about these just because I am a huge Harry Potter fan. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting all of these. Uh, this, I, I really want to see more of this set. I want to see the inside pictures and all, uh, but I mean, I'm sure in the next few days we'll probably see a lot more. Just from what I'm seeing so far though, I adore this set. Um, can't wait to get this one. Um, and it's even got, you know, a Ron in this <laughs> different little outfit here. And then uh, I think that is one of his girlfriends, the, the one that was like really obsessed with him. Um, <laughs> so I don't know, but this is an awesome set. And, you know, we've got a new greenhouse here, which previously was only included in one castle, which was like, what was it? fourth or fifth year or something like that um and it's like a detached piece i have it um sitting on my shelf nearby somewhere <laughs> um and then also you know you've got the, the great headwig set there and then the burrow i mean i'm just excited for all of it but there you can see the minifigures in this one a little bit better like i said you do have tonks over there next to harry potter but I mean, I, I just wanted to have like, you know, the purple hair or something like that would have been cool. But anyway, those are all of the new Harry Potter sets, which I hope to be able to get all of them. Um, we shall see, right? <laughs> we'll see if I can get all of them. Um, but you know, we've got some exclusives, a Target exclusive, Barnes and Noble exclusive. Um, gonna kind of scroll through here and see if I missed any others being exclusive to different places. I don't think so. The rest it looks like you you'll be able to get in, in uh, pretty much any store. But anyway I'm super excited about these and I can't wait to get them so I just thought I would share my excitement with you guys.